Hi everybody, how are y'all doing? Tonight I'm going to teach y'all how to make some good old-fashioned meatloaf. Now, it's going to be a healthy version of meatloaf, and it's delicious. You know, a lot of times meatloaf comes out to be dry. People taste it and they're going, oh my gosh, it just, it's not moist. It just doesn't have any flavor to it. Well, if you do it this way, I promise you it'll be healthier, it'll be less fat, and uh, so with that said, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. But first of all, obviously, you're going to need some ground beef. Now, I'll, I'll talk about this ground beef in just a second. The other things we're going to need is some soft bread, an egg, some lemon juice, some finely chopped parsley, about eh, three quarters of a cup of milk, and for the, the veggies, we got some fresh chopped garlic, some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, some brown sugar, some red onions, some good old fashioned ketchup, and some, I never can say this, woo woo Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, that, that's, that stuff right there. Extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, and some spices. We got some granulated garlic, some paprika, some granulated onion powder, some dried mustard seed, and some dried thyme. So, with that said, let's get this thing started. Okay, we've got our oven preheating to 350. We've got us a big bowl. And we're going to start mixing these ingredients up in just a second. But let me talk about the ground beef. Now what I use is 96.4. That's what makes this a lot more healthier than your standard 80-20. You know how you make meatloaf and you put it in, it in the pan and it comes out and the whole bottom of it is just soaked with, uh, with grease? Well, this won't do this. Now, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this soft bread and I'm just going to chunk it up and throw it in this bowl. You can use breadcrumbs if you like, but I've done that. I've, I've used breadcrumbs, but it really makes the meatloaf compact a little bit too much. It comes out dry, so we'll just chop this stuff up here. Get all this bread. It's soft bread. You can use white bread or regular loaf of bread, anything you want to do. But then we're going to add about a little half a cup of milk. To that I know that seems kind of crazy but it's really going to go a long way in making your meatloaf really moist now one of the keys to using a really lean extra lean meat like this you just mix this stuff up soften up that bread and use an extra lean meat it tends to be really dry. So what we want to do is we want to really moisturize that meat. This will go a long way in helping you do that. Now typically, we're going to let this, you'll want to sweat your onions in a hot skillet over medium heat to soak out all that water. But like I said, we're using an extra lean ground beef and we want to moisturize that meat as far as possible. So what we'll do is we'll let that bread sit in that milk a little bit and I'll be back in just a second. We'll talk about the rest of the ingredients. Okay, we are let this bread sit a little bit and it's really moist as you can see. It's soaking up that bread really nice. So what we'll do is we'll add an egg. I'm just using one egg because it's just me tonight and the dog but I won't be giving him any of it. We got our red onions and our uh, fresh chopped garlic. We got some celery. All these vegetables, by not sweating them in a pan over heat prior to putting it in this, especially with an extra lean meat, you're adding moisture. We got the fresh chopped parsley, some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, that's good stuff right there. And you just pour that in there. We add some salt. I use coarse salt and some black cracked pepper that I ground. And a couple of squirts of Worcestershire. Or however you say that. I never have been able to say that. And you put that in there. All this is going to add moisture to that. 
and just a little drizzle of olive oil. Then you just mix all these ingredients up really good, get that egg mixed up in there until all these flavors start to marry together. You see that? That's just wonderful. It smells so good already. And like I said, these, these vegetables, by putting them in there fresh, you're just gonna add moisture to this extra lean ground beef. Okay, we've got all those veggies and spices mixed up. We're gonna add our ground beef to this. Now, if you don't like getting your, <laughs> your fingers and your hands messed up, you can use a fork. I'm just kind of breaking this up just a little bit for right now. And then I'll get my hands in there and start mixing this stuff up with my hands. Because that's the only way you're really going to get all these ingredients mixed up with this ground beef here. And all these veggies that's mixed in there. So, you don't want to overwork the meat. That's the reason you really get in there and get those vegetables and spices mixed in there pretty good first. And you just get in there and start meshing this stuff together. Man, that's messy. <laughs> that's that's a good one right there so all right we've got this mixed up pretty good and what we'll do is we'll put this on our pan in just a second and form this into a loaf and i'll be right back let me clean up a bit and i'll be right back with y'all okay now what we're going to do is we're going to form this into a loaf I'm only, like I said, I'm only using a one pound uh, container of uh, ground beef because it's just, like I said, you see my dog running around here every now and he likes to help me doing this. Now, one thing, a lot of times people put their meatloaf in a pan and once it gets to draining all those juices and that fat it tends to be at the bottom so what I do is I take a regular old cooling sheet and a kind of a deep pan and I put this cooling sheet up on top here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this meat right up on this cooling sheet bacon cooling bacon sheet whatever y'all call it and we got this formed into the loaf as best we can ain't that pretty y'all know I'm about pretty and like I said where our oven is ready to go it's been preheated to 350 we'll put that in there and uh, we're gonna want to cook this about 45 50 minutes maybe a little bit longer and uh, let me get this in the oven and uh, we'll move on to the to the glaze okay let's move on to our glaze what I've got is a good amount of good old-fashioned ketchup a lot of people put their glaze on top of their meatloaf when they start I kind of wait about 20 minutes let the meat kind of firm up a little bit and that's when I put my first layer of glaze on there and then almost when it's done about 10 minutes left that's when I'll put that final glaze on there and it really just caramelizes and makes that thing so tasty so let me walk you through getting this glaze done we got the ketchup we're going to add our brown sugar. I guess we can call this a brown sugar glaze. We got the spices I mentioned to you earlier. We're going to throw those in there. Just a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and we're going to mix this stuff up. And we're going to create that glaze, and that's going to be so pretty. Okay, guys, this uh, meatloaf has been in the oven for about 55 minutes. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! Ain't that pretty? And we're going to serve this up with some uh, mashed taters and some uh, corn that I, and the sauce I've got poured over that instead of butter, which is a lot more healthier, is olive oil, some uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And uh, let's uh, just take a bite of this meatloaf. See what we got here. Look at that. Look at that. I won't tell you. That looks so good, doesn't it? 
Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, this smells so good. My apartment smells so good. My dog's sitting down here looking at me. Mmm. So moist. Like I said, you use this extra lean ground beef. You got to do a lot of little things like I explained before to make it moist. That's good. I'm sorry to eat in front of you. But I think I'm going to have another bite of this. Whew. That's good. I think I'm going to plate this up. Me and my dog are going to eat. And uh, as always, you know, try this. You may like it. You save a lot of fat by doing it this way. It's a little bit, actually a lot more healthier uh, than your standard meatloaf. It's really tasty if you'll do it like this. And um, you know what? Be nice to each other. You know, do something for people less fortunate than you. Random act of kindness. Every now and then you never know where to lead. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. See y'all next time. Bye-bye, y'all.